8 overview during this week, we are going to be continuing talking about the representative groups, the halogen and noble gases. So we are going to identify the trends about halogens and noble gases as well. We're also going to talk about the halogens here, for example, this video. In this video, iodine and acetine. Now, these elements are diatomic. It's also bigger in size. Also, we have an article that talks about the halogen family. Okay, once you scroll down, there is a quiz right here. So, test your knowledge on it. And then we have the noble gases. In this video, we're going to talk about the noble gases. The noble gases are... Okay, we have here an article about the noble gases. Further practice on it. And here is the question and the answer also. Also, we have here a quizzes about the noble gases and the challenging question. Moving to the other part, which is the essential element to human body, which is a research task that you guys are going to be divided over groups in order for you to complete a class activity on that topic as shown here. So you're going to be divided over four different groups and each group will talk about an element that is essential to human body. Then we are going to move to chapter seven, talking about and describing reactions and chemical equations. So we are going to inter interpret chemical equations in terms of reactant products and conservation of mass. So we are going to talk about what is the difference between reactants and products. Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. And the products are tells you H2. Also, we have here flashcards and quizzes about it. Law of conservation of mass. In this video, we're going to talk about ethane gas. Leave the container. They're stuck according to the law. Okay, here we also have an activity about it. Okay, which is the law of conservation of mass. Okay, once you scroll down. Once you scroll down, you have to test your knowledge on the law of conservation of mass. And we have the further practice, also two questions with embedded answer in it. And also we have basic of chemical reactions. And then we are talking about the challenging question. And moving to the other part, which is balancing chemical equation, this lesson will be divided over two sections, that each section we are going to understand how can we balance a chemical equation by, the, by manipulating the coefficient. So here is a video about um, chemical so equations and balancing like the them. Example, let's balance the carbon atoms. For, let's put a, so we'll put a two here. So notice that we have six bromine atoms. Also we have here a uh, simulation in the concept of balancing that's a fit simulation on it okay and then we have here another video that talks about step-by-step -step balancing equations because have to also we have here a worksheet in the concept which is an interactive worksheet from wiser me also further practice and self-assessment lastly we have describing the balancing equation, which is part two, that you guys are going to be given uh, worksheets in order for you to be able to balance equations by